Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Generation. Going, going well, it's been fun, so this will be the third instalment of this because in the last episode, if you watched it all the way through after I'd beaten the last person, I accidentally clicked on the next one and we started that duel, so we got that going on for us. But what we'll do now is we'll move on to the second to last duelist in the weekly challenge board, uh, so... Yeah. Uh, this will be the one getting really difficult because well, the second to last one is always quite difficult. We're using the Black Rose deck, uh, all synchro monsters, uh, a couple of Xyz monsters, but that's besides the point. Right, Fortuna to Fortunato Tosto, ready to get for for Fortunato Tomato. That's the title of this video. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still ill. Ooh, Alright, so, straight away, what I can see is... Let's go with... Jeremy's friend. Let's see what you got. Fun. Oh, I used to use that card quite a lot. So Tenniel is probably the better card to use in that case. But hey ho! I wonder if that's the only tackle. <laughs> Alright, so let's get a Titanial out. Um, Cause next round he's gonna get another load of card uh, another card to I'm guessing his just from using that monster, unless it's just a ra random deck. From using that monster, I would assume that his deck is based on drawing cards. But we're not gonna let him do that, are we? No we're not. Go. Uh oh. Yeah, I know it. It's all about drawing cards. I do not like this. Because he's going to get another 600 card points for this next card, so it brings up to 3,000 and he's going to take out my Titanial. Interesting. The only thing I can do really is set a card that brings back more cards for the graveyard. <sighs> what? Here we go. Is meowing, so we're gonna go and find out what this is. All right, okay, so he set a monster, he tributed the monster and set it rather than doing anything else, which is interesting. Um, so I am gonna set that card and attack it because he's got left cards in his hand now, and unless this has 3000 defense, it's another Trigodia. Where'd you go, Cat? Alright, 
So I think he made a wrong play. Why would you do that? Alright, so... Alright, so I'm gonna... Summon my... Giga Plant. I know he won't gain his effect until next turn, but it's the thing. I'll be able to conduct a bit of damage here. Nice direct damage there. Nice. Oh. I'm a cat. What are you doing, stupid? Silly. Right, so... Can it not be destroyed? What? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna use my Revival Rose. Okay, so I managed to prevent myself from being destroyed there. Uh, he gets that sent back to the graveyard. Sent back to his hand. Uh, I'm gonna use the uh, effect of my Blue Rose. I'm gonna summon Blue Rose Dragon. And then even when that's destroyed by battle, uh, I can summon Titania back. So that's a good, nice bit of damage there. Another one? I mean... I hate the amount of, like, ra like the same tactic that people use. Like, you've done it, and then, like, they do it instantly again. And I'm not... You know, I'm not the only one who's done that before, you know, in when I played this game. Like, the enemy aren't the only one who's done that. So obviously he's going to attack my Blue Rose Dragon. Oh, no, okay. Uh, Glow Up Ball. Um... Again, interesting, but not really. I'm going to set it. Because when Blue Rose Dragon gets destroyed, I can summon Titanial back. And unless she does the zombie thing again. Yes, someone will activate that effect. So this is going to bring back Titanial. He's gonna do that to destroy Glow Bulb, but that's fine because Glow Bulb's got that revival, um, the revival mechanism. Um...
perfect. I want to go back in the cupboard. It's supposed to go in the cupboard. Uh... So I can do the same thing again and just basically just block myself from getting damage. Gonna return to hand. He's got one face down monster. Not that. Right, let's hope this destroys it. Yes. Right, if he destroys this card by... This is, he hasn't actually dealt me a lot of damage. He's only dealt me that little bit of damage at the beginning. But here we go. He's going to do, do me damage now. Yes. But this allows me to summon my tuna monsters. Yep. Black Rose Dragon. Let's do that. Right, so let's do this tuning technique. I tune my level four Violet Witch with my level two Naturia Strawberry. These two monsters are no, yeah. Tune them together to Synchro Summon Splendid Rose. But that's not all I'm doing, because I can now tune my copy plant with my Violet Splendid Rose to Synchro Summon my signature monster, the mighty, the majestic, the Black Rose Dragon! Yawn! Get that dragon gonna No. <laughs> Wouldn't it be stupid if I just clicked yes and it just killed itself and then like I had to just sit there with no monsters on my field? Fortunato Tomato has gone down the plateau. I'm so sorry everyone. Alright, so that was the second to last one. Um, we get Book of Eclipse. That's rubbish. But it's not, it's not rubbish. So, Vito Kang is the last duelist. If he's anything like Xiao Pop from the first weekly challenge one that we did, I'm not looking forward to this because he used a Blue Eyes deck and I don't really want to use a Blue Eyes deck. I want to use... I don't know. He used a Blue Eyes deck. I want to fight a Blue Eyes deck. I want to fight an easy deck. Like... Every deck is really good when you think about it in some way. So... Well, that will leave that for the next episode, so see you then. Bye for now. Peace.